Fun fact, the pressure washer won't run without gas in it. Welcome back to another episode of My Legacy Garage. At long last, the time has come. We need to finish the Jeep. There's a few reasons. One, there's a brand new project that I'm super duper excited about. That new project, it's right behind you. You can't see it though, because it's not virtual reality, so you can't turn around and look. You're just gonna have to wait. Number two, I need the garage space. It's been sitting in here taking up this bay for way too long and I want to put something else in here that's fun to work on because I'm tired of G. Number three, I need to sell it. I need the money for other more fun stuff. So, let's get it done. I need to finish sanding it, prime it, paint it, put shocks on it, paint the undercarriage, put the interior back in it, put a battery in it, I think that's it. You know, put it all back together. So, it's, it's gonna be a while. Let's just do it. I won't bore you with watching me sand the entire thing, but this corner that was caved in here, you know, we fixed it up, and now I got some paper for the straight line sander so we can start cleaning this up and shaping it so that it's good. Now you can see we're down to bare metal, most places, except for where the filler is a little high. So I'm going to show you how you just take the straight line sander and you can sand this so that the filler remains in the low spots and you hit the metal on the rest of it and lo and behold it's all fixed. Just like that, good as new. Now we just gotta sand, you know, all the rest of it. For some of it, power tools, you know, it can't get in here. So you have to sand it by hand, which, you know, takes a lot of time and effort, but there's really no other way to do it. And there's little nooks and crannies like this all over the vehicle. You just kinda have to get in there and get it done. If it was easy, everybody would do it, right? What you can sand with power tools, you do. Because it's a lot of work. I've got a DA sander here. I've got 80 grit on it. I always sand the first time in, in 80 grit and take everything down. And then I go over the whole thing again with 220 and take that down. And that gives it a fairly smooth surface. And then you got to clean that all up real good. Wash it off, wax, degrease it, or uh, wax remover and degrease it. And then you can prime it. And then you give the primer a light sanding to smooth it all out good with probably, you could probably do 220 again. And then you prime it again so that you build a good surface primer on there so that you don't rub through it so easy. And then you go over it and you sand it with a really fine paper, probably like a 400. You sand the whole thing dry. And then after you're done with that, you clean it all off and everything again. And then you can wet sand it until it is smooth as glass. And then you clean it again, wax remover, degrease it, tack cloth it, whatever you need to do to make sure there's nothing on it. Clean the floors in the shop, make sure there's no dust in the air, put some fans in to exhaust the air out. Mind you, this isn't a professional paint booth. They're pretty fancy. We're gonna paint it right here. Then you're finally ready to paint it. So what I'm getting at is it's gonna take a minute. By golly, never did I think I'd see the day. But the sanding's done. Well, the initial sanding anyway. Now it's time to clean it. It looks a little different. How about it? Time to push it outside, clean it up, clean up the shop floor, and still a few more things to tape up to you know, put the finishing touches on it. But then it will be time to prime it. Now we're making progress. This is why you push it outside to clean it and clean up the floor underneath of it. 
because there's always just a trail of nasty. There it is. Outside, it hasn't been sitting outside in God, months. All sanded up, ready for a good cleaning. now than it has been for a while. Well, that's why I didn't bring you back earlier and show you wiping it all down and finishing taping it up and everything. I mean, that's boring stuff anyway. But you couldn't hear anything. It'd been terrible. So, we're getting ready to paint it. Well, prime it. We're just about there. I just gotta mix it up and dial in the gun and away we go. It's really humid out. I'm hoping that doesn't cause a problem, but this is the only time I have to paint it, so we're just going to do it. The rain has let up, which is a blessing. We've done, wiped it all off, the entire Jeep, one time. I cleaned the gun with lacquer thinner. I got my respirator here, because I'll stand without a mask, but I'm not going to paint without one. And this is our high build primer and our acetone. These are mixed one to one, so we have a mixing cup. I think we're all set, we're ready to rock and roll here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up, and then we'll start spraying it. Some of y'all might recognize this here paint gun. I won it in a giveaway on Dan's Garage NC. Thanks Dan, I told you I was gonna use it, and here we go. She is, folks. All primed up. Came out pretty good, I think. Looks pretty decent. I have this one wheel. The lug nuts were giving me a fit, so I just wrapped it up. But prime-wise, it looks good. It looks very good. I know it looks like there's thin spots but it's really just shadows I went over it twice I used the entire quart of primer so that should be more than enough for this nonsense I dig it I hope all 12 of you that like the Jeep enjoy the video there'll be one more Jeep video after this one and it's gonna be final paint and then reassembly and I got some cool new stuff coming for it, so it'll look pretty cool when it's done, I promise. It's just, it takes forever to get there. Make sure if you like the video, you hit the thumbs up button. Let's people know, hey, it's worth watching. And if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down twice. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, helps us out. 
We appreciate it. And we appreciate all of you that are watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.